Hi, I am Karen Park and you are watching Toasted. Karen, welcome to Amsterdam. Thank you, it's lovely here. Yeah, you brought the sun. I really did. It's fantastic. Do you normally have this weather? No, we have rain, it's grey and it's cold. Oh, <laughs> lucky, lucky to be here today then. Hey, your new album is out. Congratulations. Apocalypse Pop. Thank you. It's out on vinyl as well, I noticed. Yeah, of course. That's in my contract with the record company. That it has to come out on vinyl. Why do you think that's important? Uh, first of all, uh, I only buy vinyl. And uh, I think uh, a lot of people who like my music like to buy it on vinyl, it seems, because a lot of people buy it on vinyl. And uh, it's, it's um, a format that stays much longer than a CD. And I, I'd like to think that uh, people want to listen to my music when, when you know, the compact disc is gone as well. So it's good to have it on vinyl. I saw you have a really old Sony radio receiver, record player, all in one, right? There's a picture of you on Facebook. How did you see that? Yeah, but you posted on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Or maybe I did. I can't remember that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I have it in my kitchen because I like to... You know, when I cook food and stuff, and uh, me and my boyfriend, we play records, and he, he reads, you know, on the back of the, the covers to me while I'm chopping, you know, whatever. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful record deck. It, it, it's, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's really old ones. Rare to find those. Yeah, I found it in the basement, actually. It belonged to my grandpa. Hey, you live in a church? Yeah, I do. How come? Uh, it's in uh, my hometown. And I've, I've lived uh, a lot of different places, but I said one day, because it's been inactive for many years, and I said one day uh, I want to come back to my hometown and buy the church and, and stay there and uh, build a studio and stuff. So. so you built a studio in the church as well and you live there too? Yeah. And, and it's really nice. It's, it's nice because it's, it's a big place, so it's possible to bring a lot of people over and we also put on shows there and invite the whole village to see bands that they've never seen before. So that's great. First thing that people will ask you probably if you live in a church is like, are there still graves in your backyard or are there still people entombed in your floor? Uh, my grandfather uh, uh, had, uh, we had his funeral in the church, but it's not a church with a graveyard attached to it. So they're, they're buried somewhere else. It is, if you look really well, the, the place features in a video of you as well, right? Yeah, I think it actually features in a couple of videos, okay. but you cannot always see it. But we've filmed both in like the big church hall and in my kitchen as well. <laughs> shine is shot and the, vi the video Shine is shot for, uh, in, y in your home. Uh, I loved uh, the projections of uh, the movies on the wall. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Uh, and also th there's like a shot with marbles coming like uh, on a um, chest floor that's in my kitchen. Wow. <laughs> hey, you did a lot of videos for this record, right? Uh, yeah, we did a few and I produced a couple of them and it's I, I, cause I like I have a lot of ideas for music videos, but it's really, really hard work to, to produce a music video. So I wouldn't love to do it every time. But when I feel uh, like I have the time and 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 the uh, capacity for it like it's um, to do it in your own home like you have to get all the equipment yourself and we've done it like shine was done just by me and the director and we used like three days on shooting different things I, like, I mean all your videos are awesome I think and I was wondering how do you get all the people to do this because it's an expensive thing right making a video and it looks like it comes so easy for you well, I use a lot of family members, to be honest. Uh, my uncles have a big uh, light and sound company. So I borrow a lot of stuff from them and I get my cousins to help me out and build the set. And I get my dad to, do, to uh, handle the smoke machine and my aunt to do the food. And I really sort of uh, engage my whole family when I do something like that. And well, maybe you should get into films uh, more than you do and produce your whole film because it looks amazing. 
I'm not sure if I would have the, the, the time and the energy for that because it's, you know, making a music video takes a lot of effort. But I like to write uh, scripts for, for mu uh, music videos and for like short movies as well. Because you are multi-talented, I mean, you write a lot of songs, uh, you, you, you're a model, you're in films, you write scripts. W where, do, where does it end for you? Do you take on everything you like? No, I don't feel that I'm very multi-talented at all. It's just that I have uh, uh, I have a lot of ideas that I I want to put into different things. And, and, and I'm a creative person. Um, but, you know, the modeling, it doesn't require so much talent I think to be modeling is just something I do on the side but uh, but I do have a good imagination I think that that's where most of that comes from hey um, back to the record uh, uh, one of the standout songs of apocalypse pop is uh, human beings uh, of course you wrote it because your boyfriend was diagnosed with cancer right yes is he, is he still does he still have cancer or? No, he's uh, completely recovered now and declared completely well. So we're really thankful for that. He's a musician too, and uh, I think his main uh, like energy came from wanting to get back on tour as fast as possible, and he's done that now. So that's. But it must have been an intense period for both of you, of course. Yeah, it was crazy. It last year was the the toughest year of our lives, definitely. But. We, uh, uh, one of our friends said, like, you just have to look at it as uh, an art project. And, and when we did that, it made it easier. It was like going to hell and come back. And it, it was an interesting journey. And now I feel like we've, you, we've got a, a second chance in a way. And that is really valuable. What, what did it, did it change you? And, and what did you learn? It makes... It makes both of us enjoy life more and like if we do something and we feel okay what if this is you know the last opportunity we have or uh, you know we <laughs> with money it's like we better burn all the money today because we could be dead tomorrow so let's just do it. Hey you, you had an idea for uh, human beings for the video you asked your fans or anyone to send in videos that uh, that in their opinion would reflect human beings. Did, did you get the footage and did you use it yet? Yeah, I've gotten a lot of footage from different people and we're putting it together right now. So just when the tour is finished, we're gonna do like the last bits on it. So it, it takes a little bit of time because it's a lot of different clips and I have to find time to, to, to put it all together, but uh, we'll do that eventually and it will come out. Can people still send you clips if they have any ideas? Yeah, they can still do that. We've uh, really we had a, a deadline for it, but we're actually still working on it, so it's possible to send in still. Wow, awesome! Hey, you you're on tour right now. Is this a small tour for you? Um, no, we've done a month. Wow. So for me, that's uh, or it's, it's gonna become a month when we're done. Um, so I'd say that's a pretty big tour for me. Uh, it's very intense to be on tour. It's really, really amazing too, because you get so uh, tight as a band. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been quite a while now. I feel. Yeah, because I saw uh, another picture I saw online was you were on tour for half an hour and the rearview mirror broke off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you've been, you know, I've been checking out. on you. Yeah, yeah, of course. Hello. <laughs> We were worried, but we didn't. We haven't had any problems with the car since then. <laughs> All right. I also saw that you guys that you did a video with Bukashay, the corporation. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Um, I didn't even know they were still around, actually. Oh, they're one of my favorite uh, acts, really, and I've loved their music for a long time. So when they they did a remix for us uh, first, and then they've asked me to. Um, to join in on this track so that was really cool for me to do an amazing video too yeah it's really cool isn't yeah, it yeah. yeah i didn't write you know the script for that or oh, anything. it must be weird to be in that video actually i was thinking i'm not in that video 
I thought you were in this video as well. No, I'm not in the video. Oh, it's just like a pack of people and it's so hard to see who is in it, actually. Yeah, yeah that's true, but I'm actually not in, not it. in it. No. Yeah, I was, I was, there you go, actually assuming that you were in it because you do so many videos. <laughs> but anyway, uh, beautiful track. And it, it is. It, do they release it on their album or is it on? do you release it on your side as well? No, it, they, release, the uh, they release it on their album. It's like their, the single of their EP, I think. <laughs> <laughs> 